Nazrin. Hi. Hi. How, is, how are you? I'm, I'm good. I uh, mean, uh, what a surprise. Yeah. How can I help you? I'm here to ask a very quick question actually because I myself am wearing lens. So my friends are telling me that it's bad to wear contact lens. Huh? Is it true? Oh no, you've been getting all the wrong advice. Oh. Look, I'll tell you what. Can I have a seat? Okay. Um, take a seat. And um, I think wearing contact lenses can be um, a big advantage for people like you. Oh. Because you are then spared from the uh, hassle of having to put glasses on. Mm -hmm. And these glasses, they are actually thick. Mm -hmm. If you have a prescription which is more than a certain amount, of course. Mm -hmm. And they actually uh, do that. Yeah. And when you're sweaty and all. Yeah. They don't actually stay yeah, that yeah. well in the face if yeah. your prescription is, is, is big enough. Mm -hmm. um, but um, wearing contact lenses can also mean that you have to be very careful about certain things. Mm -hmm. Like? Like you must actually get those, get them from a qualified practitioner, mm -hmm. an optometrist, or an optician who is licensed to. Uh, dispense contact lenses. Oh, okay. Um, depending on what kind of advice they give you, mm -hmm. they, you shouldn't be wearing them for more than eight hours a day. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I'm sure there are lenses in the market that allow you uh, wearing time of more than eight hours, mm -hmm. perhaps overnight. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's always a good idea not to wear lenses when you go to sleep. Ah, oh, okay. I'll take I'll take that as a no, because sometimes when I nap, I tend to wear my contact lens. Oh, napping, that's fine. It's only for oh. about 5 minutes or 10 minutes, oh. but not the whole night. Ah, oh. what about 1 to 2 hours? Is that fine? Well, it's a very tricky question, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, we're, we're talking about the eye not getting enough oxygen because the eye breathes. Mm -hmm. And when it breathes, um, it requires oxygen from the air. Ah. Oh. So, um, if your eye is breathing and you're preventing it from breathing by putting a blanket on it, Mm -hmm. a contact lens on it, then it means that the eye is not getting enough oxygen uh -huh. and you will find some responses from the eye yeah. which show you that they're not happy. I mean they get a bit red at the end of the day. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yes, I always have that issue. Don't they? Yeah. yeah, and my eyes tend to get dry. Dry, yeah. yeah That's the most common complaint of people who wear contact lenses. Uh -huh. They get dry eyes, especially in, in this part of the world. Uh -huh. It's a very common condition and it afflicts um, probably about 30% of our population Ooh. and if you happen to be one of those, uh -huh. wearing contact lenses will only make it worse mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that you can't wear lenses, mm -hmm. you can with proper care and advice. Yeah, since you're here, I think um, I need to make it clear that you know when people say that uh, kids should not be wearing um, spectacles when they're young, uh -huh. when they're young. Um, and they say that they tend to depend on these glasses once you start them on glasses mm -hmm. uh, I think that's that's a whole lot of uh, untrueness about uh -huh. it because some kids really need yeah. lenses if they've got short sightedness mm -hmm. um, if, they don't, if they don't wear uh, spectacles mm -hmm. then their short sightedness actually increases at a faster rate uh, and the trick there is to get the eyes examined by someone who's qualified. Um, An optometrist has to make, has to, has to uh, make sure that the lenses are of the right prescription, mm -hmm. and um, they correct vision mm -hmm. to the right amount, mm -hmm. so that the um, short sightedness is, is controlled to a certain extent. I've got another thing to tell you. Yeah. It's about. Um, I'll show you. Can okay. I? Uh, sure. Have you had any of these tests done on you? Uh, what is that? It's uh, to see whether you've got color vision oh. problems. So they, they call it color blindness. Oh. It's a very harsh term. Yeah. I don't think color blindness should be used. Though. I I think the only time I had this test when I was taking my license. <sighs> that is the only time. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, it's a very simple test, mm -hmm. and it's a very powerful one as well uh -huh. in picking up people who were born with color oh. vision deficiencies. Uh -huh. um, you know, when, when people fail this test, they tell you that, hey, I'm not blind. I can yeah. see colors. I can see the red, green, and the blue light, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the yellow light. Mm -hmm. But that's not the issue here. The issue is uh, that when you have a color vision deficiency, you do not lose totally 
the ability to see colors. Uh -huh. There's very few people have none I've known of none who actually have people who have black and white vision. I don't uh -huh. think they exist. There probably are some, but um, when you have a color vision deficiency, it means that you cannot differentiate between different shades of colors, that's all. Ah, oh, okay. And it becomes critical for certain jobs. Oh. If you're an electrician, mm -hmm. you need to make that fine distinction between green and the brown yeah. and the yellow wires. Mm -hmm. If you've got a color vision deficiency, it will um, put you at risk mm -hmm. uh, when doing such uh -huh. when doing such jobs. Uh -huh. um, and, and you might want to ask me if this condition can be cured. Yeah, it can. You can. Oh, no. I mean, people wear all sorts of glasses to help them pass the test. Yeah. But that's not the uh, not the panacea. It's, it's not the solution. Oh. It just makes you uh, able to trick the test. Oh, but and it will not cure. It won't. It, oh. It's something that's in your genes. Ah, okay. It's you know, it's something that has been passed down by your mother. Mm. Women are carriers of color vision defective genes. Oh, I and men that. are the ones who suffer. From uh, Eight percent okay. of the male population has got color vision problems. Uh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, have, you, I mean, have you ever been told about the fact that you know looking at colors is not really something that's taken for granted? No. I mean, now I know. Well, okay. Thank you for your time, Doctor. You're welcome. All right. I'll see you soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Yeah, my pleasure.